Hey guys, Denis Kozar here. In this video I want to show you how to calibrate your scene for the material creation. If you want more interesting videos, please subscribe on my channel, write some comments and give me likes or dislikes. So let's get started. First of all, let's create box and change sizes. In my case I will use 100 centimeters. Then apply Turbo Smooth with 6 iterations and then apply Spherify modifier to create perfect sphere. Now we can set up the material. Press M on the keyboard or use this button Material Editor and here let's create Corona Material and Corona Color. We need to choose Corona Color Picker. To do so you need to open Customize Preference and here change Color Selector to Corona Improved Picker. Then press OK and here you are. We need to use Neutral Gray Material. To do this I need to untick sRGB and then enter 18, 18, 18 to get Neutral Gray Color. Leave it here for a while. Next we need to set up our Render Engine and as secondary solver I will use path tracing because we have pretty easy light setup so it doesn't need in USD cache. Next I will change width and height to 1000 by 1000 and next I need to load some HDRI map. To do so I will download some HDRI from HDRI Heaven you can choose whatever you want. The main goal is to understand key principle of how to set up the scene properly. I will download 4K HDRI map and to load it in 3D Max I will use Corona Bitmap, open, leave as it is and here why I use Corona Bitmap. It automatically set up environment mob to spherical and I doesn't need to change it manually. Next, we need to change scene environment to Corona to use Corona and as an instance bring it here. Next, we need to rotate this HDRI map so the brightest part will be in the middle of our sphere. To make it, I will change pivot point to the center bottom of the sphere and then move it to the zero coordinates. Next, from the left viewport I will press Shift plus F to enable save frames and then press Z to place it in the center of camera. Next I will start interactive and now we have this purple material assigned gray corona. Next I will change interactive size something a bit larger and then in the post Let's create a chrome material, so I disable diffuse, enable reflection and change Fresnel IR to 999 and uh, here we have our perfect chrome material with HDRI map. It is much easier to rotate HDRI map when you can see its reflection in this sphere. So my aim is to rotate this bright spot of the color to the middle. So I will do it by changing numbers in the environment. Let's for example try 50 and here we are maybe 65. So I get this bright spot in the middle of the sphere. Next I will disable saturation, put minus one here to make it black and white. I make it in the purpose of having neutral lighting. On the right column you can see RGB. All numbers are the same. If saturation will be default all these numbers are different and it is very hard to calibrate the scene. So I will desaturate it and then we need to assign our neutral gray color. So I will create Corona MTL and assign the material. I don't turn on the reflection because it will be much harder to calibrate. And here we need to get 117 in the RGB column. sRGB 8-bit. So we need to crank up the HDRI RGB level. So I will change it to 1 and 4. And now in the middle I have 99. We need more. I will change to 1 and 8. And now I have 110 or 12 and I will crank it up a little bit more. 
like this. So now I can get maybe a little bit more. RGB level 2 will be enough. As you can see now, on the right column, we got this 170 number. It is a neutral gray. Now, if I disable saturation and change it to the default number, we will get this color tint. So maybe if you set up your materials, you doesn't want this to happen, but you want to get nice color reflections. So to do this, you need to add Corona color correction and then change the saturation to minus one. Plug it into the Corona environment like this. And then if I will assign from material, we still get this black and white result. To make it color, enable direct reflections and refractions override and change them to the color HDRI map like this. And now you have neutral gray material with the nice color reflections. If you want to learn more about this method, you can go to the forum thread on the Corona forum. I will put the link in the description. Also, you can read more about how to use Corona color picker and understanding sRGB, gamma and color values. That's all for now. Hope you like it and find useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below the video. I will answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and have a nice day, goodbye!